What is up, what is up, what is up, YouTube? California Prepper. Let me adjust this camera a little bit, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Well, today, we're gonna be taking a look at this Combat Ready Knives. What model is this? This is the Combat Ready Knives L1 Tactical WY6 Tonto. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about Combat Ready Knives, but these are from what I understand, uh, produced by the owner of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, everybody knows about that website. If you're a knife guy, you've been there a time or two. Um, I bought plenty of stuff from their website, and I think that's where I got this. Uh, but the reason I'm talking about this knife today is because it's actually a gift from my cousin. Um, I ordered it up, and I wanted to show you guys what you can get for $9.99. This knife definitely is not... It's not top quality, but it's definitely not bottom of the barrel. I mean, for 10 bucks, way better than any Saturday night special you're going to get. Liquor store knife. I mean, you got Os8 steel. You got a nice size Tonto blade. Came decently sharp. It's not Kershaw Spyderco sharp, but it's sharp. Um, definitely can cut some stuff. You got Os8 steel, like I said. Um, you got this black titanium coating, which um, I guess is on all the moving parts of the knife. So that's pretty cool. Um, you got a pretty decent size blade. Um, doesn't, I mean, it's not the smoothest, um, I haven't really played with it and broken it in much, but the more I flick it, the better it feels. Uh, manual, no assist, no flipper, just these dual thumb studs, and it's kind of weird where they put them, if you ask me. It's kind of in a, in a different spot, but it, it's not bad. Uh, you got three, uh, large jimps on the back, um, so it definitely doesn't bite in too much. It's kind of slickery, if you ask me, but it is what it is for 10 bucks. Um, decent size frame lock, or <laughs> decent size, uh, decent frame lock on it. It's a, it's, it's a pretty nice blade. I mean, for him, for what he's going to be using it for, it's definitely going to do the job. You have a single position pocket clip. You can't move it at all. So you got right-handed tip down only. I guess you can carry it left-handed if you want, but it's going to be real funny pulling out of your pocket. Um, the blade itself is three and a quarter inch so you have a pretty decent cutting edge and especially with the tonto that's what i really dig about tontos you can use this bottom edge all you want and save this fine tip for your real you know your, your delicate stuff that's what i do with mine anyways um love a tonto for work great work knife so that's why i got him this um frame and the handle frame um the handle of the knives and the frame lock is four and seven eighths inch long so you've got a decent size handle it's pretty comfortable there are a few hot spots if you ask me um the way the frame lock comes down it, it really bites into your finger and thank goodness he's right handed because if he was left handed it would be real uncomfortable um again dual thumb studs for the opening not assisted uh, the pocket clip it's not the best um and for me i would way rather have a deep carry pocket clip but it is what it is um he's gonna be using it for work and that's why i got it for him so i think he'll really dig it he likes black knives um i'm not sure what's going on with this g10 why it has this um this white i don't know i know a lot of g10 can get dusty sometimes but here you have a nice little oily spot from where your finger sits when you open it and stuff like that i don't know it just looks kind of cheesy so i might try to clean this up for him maybe oil it up touch it up on the sharp maker get it nice and razor sharp um, it was his birthday recently, so I wanted to get him something. Decent knife. You got some um, some standoffs there through and through construction, so you can clean it out real easy. Um, the liners are not skeletonized, but it's not that heavy. You're looking at 7.68 ounces. That's real specific, huh? So it's, it's, it's not too heavy. You can definitely feel it in your pocket, and I kind of like that about a work knife. I want to know where it is. I can feel it in my pocket before I even need it, uh, even though it always rides in the same spot. I digress overall length you're looking at seven and three quarters so it's not a huge knife but it's definitely a capable knife um i'd love to get one of these put it to the test i i myself <clears throat> have used a combat ready knife in sort of a self-defense situation and um little story for you guys all right little story time um living in the mountains and some neighbors they, they had a bunch of dogs and they used to really mistreat their dogs well they decided to move away and leave most of them behind so the dogs you know what dogs do they pack up and you know go looking for food when they don't have anything and they would always come into my yard and attack my dogs always attacking my dogs and one day one of them got a hold of my dog's throat and just started rolling like an alligator i had a axe in my hand 
and I'm trying to beat this dog off with the back of the axe. You know, I, I couldn't swing the axe and really hit the dog like that because I didn't want to hurt the dog. I just wanted him off my dog. But when he started alligator rolling, uh, that's when the old pocket knife came out. And uh, yeah, long story, long, long story. But I mean, dog owners, if you have dogs and you mistreat them, don't just leave your pets behind, please. That shit drives me crazy. Especially dogs. I can understand a cat more than a dog, but a dog can't get out. It can't take care of itself. A cat, they, they can catch shit to eat. Dogs, not so much. So what do they do? They go to your neighbor's house, start attacking their animals. All bad situations. Anyhow, back to the story of the knife. This is a nice little knife. Um, I think you'll really like it. Got these little cutout blood grooves in the blade. Give it a little bit more detail. It's a nice little knife. I mean, definitely could be better, but it definitely could be worse. And I think he'll really dig it. Um, he's not really into knives like that so you know it is what it is it's a great little knife for the price and it's a decent one till i can get him a better one so that's what it is guys i hope you liked the video hope it wasn't too long for you too much bull crap just a quick little overview of this little piece i got from my cousin i think he's really gonna dig it um little thing i thought was funny though is on the back of the box here it says legal waiver combat ready knives are designed to be used by military law enforcement and security professionals the blade on this knife is extremely sharp and mishandling or incorrect use may result in serious injury or death. It is the responsibility of the buyer to investigate and comply with the laws and regulations of their particular locale. Watch your six. Um, just thought it was funny. Let's see what else we got in here. Liberty is the natural born right of every free person. That I agree with. Sadly, freedom is never free. It sometimes come with the highest price of all. The blood of patriots. Patriots who always have and always will stand combat ready to answer the call for freedom and justice for all. We proudly support our products with the same fierce, sorry guys, it's kind of hard to see that, tenacity. And those who defend our freedom for life, combat ready products have a full lifetime guarantee. Free of manufacturer's defects for as long as you own the knife, period. Can I get a hoorah? So that's pretty cool. Um... They stand behind the military, and if if you're you know in the armed services, you get one of these knives, you can send it back, anything. Right here, this is what I thought was the coolest part. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of the of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So I really support what Combat Ready is doing. Um, they're really decent knives. So like I was saying, guys, I really believe in what Combat Ready Knives are doing. They're great knives. It's an American company. They believe in Americans being free with our rights that were given from our forefathers. Not given. They were fought for, you know? Ah, So go check out Combat Ready. I don't want to get into a big old rant on this video, but go support these guys. They support us 100%, and we need to support them. So go check out Combat Ready Knives as well as Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Great site. I bought tons of knives from them. They're decent prices, and they're real decent people. You can't, it's hard not to support people like that. So go check them out. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. I really hope you guys go check them out. Give them a follow on the Instagram, on the Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, whatever social media you're into, check them out. I'm sure they have it. Um, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go get yourself one of these knives for 10 bucks, guys. You can't beat it. Again, this is the L1 Tactical WY6 Tonto. I do agree they need to get their name in a little bit better, but they have some decent knives. And this one, I mean, no play. It's a nice frame lock, sturdy design. $9.99, you really can't beat that. And you're getting OS 8 steel. So it's not, you know, that Walmart 330, or what is it? 313 CR something. Some bull crap. You guys know what I'm talking about. So it's a decent steel, um, a decently made knife at a great price, and you're supporting an American company that supports us, guys. That's what it's all about, is supporting people to support you. So go check them out. I really appreciate it, and I'm sure they would too. Cali P, have a good day, guys. I'm out of here. Bow, 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 bow.